Hello, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and today I'm going to go over the DSLR dashboard software. It's also known as the Q DSLR, DSLR dashboard software. Say that five times over. All right. Um, you can go to the Google Play and download it for free. And I think it's the old version, which is the 2.4. And then, or you can go to the website and actually download the current version. It works on Android or Apple, um, but if you buy it from the Apple, you got, if you use Apple, you're gonna have to buy it from the Apple Store. Um, here you can actually see I'm using it here to on a TP Link, which is a wireless router, and I'm controlling my camera from there, and I can actually see what I'm recording. Here you can see it's hardwired onto this one. I'm using both next or both of these monitors are Nexus Sevens. I got them from Radio Shack because right now they're having a 50 to 70 percent off, and I got them at a, a blowout price. Um, of course, I have another one that I use or that I was using before, but these are the brand new ones. On this one, um, I am running version 2.4, the one off the Google Play, and this one here, I'm running the brand new one, which is 2.6. Uh, what's different between the two is the screen. Um, setup on this one is a lot nicer than the older version, but they both work flawlessly on either version that you use. <clears throat> uh, what's nice about this is that um, instead of using the little three-inch screen on the back of the computer, or I mean on the back of the camera, I can actually view it on this nice seven-inch high-resolution screen. I can control any function on my camera that I would normally with, uh, do without it. I can control the ISO, I can control the EV, I can control the aperture, the shutter speed, I can uh, take pictures, autofocus, I can record, I can check my volume controls on this system as well. Um, right now this one's in live view. I can do time lapse photography with this, so it basically um, does time lapse photography, plus it does uh, bracket focusing. So if you're doing macro photography and you're shooting at a uh, so close that you're getting kind of a depth of uh, shallow depth of field, this here you can actually set your bracketing up so you can actually go through and get a uh, layer of your photos in Photoshop and get this completely sharp image. Um, again, this is a DSLR dashboard software, other known as the Q DSLR dashboard software. That's a lot that I say in one little scene. Um, again, you can get it from uh, the Google Play Store, um, or you can actually go and buy it uh, for your and or Apple software. Uh, they both work functional or great, and um, I have to give two thumbs up. Again, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and thank you for watching. Well, I thought I'd give you a little behind the scenes kind of shot. Uh, here I'm running two um, fluorescent uh, military lights that are used for surgeries, as well as there's another set up here in the ceiling, as well as this ring light that's here in front of me. Um, I'm shooting in my um, garage studio that is in the works. I just put down the um, True Master vinyl flooring onto the floor. I really like it. It's made for concrete and wet areas for you, like your basements or in your bathrooms and stuff like that. You never have to worry about it um, peeling up or anything like that. Um, it was fast, simple, and easy to put in. And whatever you put on the floor, it just makes it look so much nicer compared to a concrete slab. Well, this is behind the or behind the scenes, and thank you for watching.